and welcome back to this course about our solar system. Now, let's talk about Dwarf Planet Ceres. Dwarf Planet Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and it is the only dwarf planet located in the inner solar system. It was the first member of the asteroid belt to be discovered when Giuseppe Piazzi spotted it in 1801. Called an asteroid for many years, Ceres is so much bigger and so different from its rocky neighbors that scientists classified it as a dwarf planet in 2006. Here are some top things to know about Ceres. Number one, Ceres radius is just 296 miles or 476 kilometers. If Earth were the size of a nickel, Ceres would be about as big as a poppy seed. Number two, Ceres takes 1,682 Earth days or 4.6 Earth years to make one trip around the Sun. Number three, Ceres completes one rotation around its axis every nine hours. Number four, there is no evidence of an atmosphere on Ceres. Ceres does not have any moons or ring system. Number five, Ceres has evidence of water, and scientists are searching for possible sign of life. In pop culture, Ceres has a number of references like in the TV series, The Expanse, the PC game Descent, and in the video game Destiny, among many others. Ceres is named after the Roman goddess of corn and harvest. The word Ceres comes from the same name. With a radius of 296 miles or 400 76 kilometers, Ceres is 13.4 times smaller than our planet Earth. If Earth were the size of a nickel, Ceres would be as big as a poppy seed. And Pluto is 2.4 times larger than Ceres. Here is a quick view in terms of size and equatorial radius, comparing Ceres with the other popular dwarf planets, including Pluto, and from the smallest to the largest. From an average distance of 257 million miles or 413 million kilometers, Ceres is 2.8 astronomical units away from the Sun. From that distance, it takes sunlight 22 minutes to travel from the Sun to Ceres. Ceres' axis of rotation is tilted 4 degrees with respect to the plane of its orbit around the Sun. That means it spins nearly perfectly upright and does not experience seasons. About 4 billion years ago, Ceres settled into its current location around the leftover pieces of planetary formation in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Ceres is more similar to the terrestrial planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, but it is much less dense. Ceres probably has a solid core and a mantle made of water ice. Ceres could be composed of as much as 25% water. If that is correct, Ceres has more water than our planet Earth does. Ceres' crust is rocky and dusty with large salt deposits. The salt on Ceres are made of different minerals like magnesium sulfate. Ceres is covered in small young craters no larger than 175 miles or 280 kilometers in diameter. Within some of Ceres' craters, there are regions that are always in shadow. It's possible that without direct sunlight, these cold traps could have water ice in them for long periods of time. Ceres has a very thin atmosphere, and there is evidence that there is some water vapor in Ceres' atmosphere. Scientists don't think that Ceres has a magnetosphere. Ceres is a good example on how challenging it can be to classify bodies in our solar system. When Giuseppe Piazzi first spotted it in 1801, he assumed Ceres was the missing planet between Mars and Jupiter. Within a few years, Pallas, Juno, and Vesta were also discovered in the region, and they too were called planets. Starting in the 1840s, astronomers discussed reclassifying the increasing number of bodies in the area since they didn't quite fit the definition of a planet. By 1860, a total of 62 bodies had been discovered in the space between Mars and Jupiter. And by 1863, astronomers accepted the classification of these objects as asteroids and called this area the asteroid belt. And that is the way it stays for over 140 years. Then in 2006, astronomer designated Ceres a dwarf planet since it matched the criteria used to classify Pluto and similar sized objects in the outer solar system. Ceres holds the honor of being the first dwarf planet to be orbited by a spacecraft. The spacecraft Dawn reached it in 2015 to study its surface, composition, and history. 
Here are some key dates to keep in mind about Ceres. In 1801, Giuseppe Piazzi discovers Ceres while searching for a star and calls it a planet. In 1863, wide acceptance that Ceres to be classified as an asteroid. And in 2006, Ceres is classified as a dwarf planet. In 2017, the Dawn spacecraft was launched. In 2015, the Dawn spacecraft arrived at Ceres, marking the first time a spacecraft has orbited a dwarf planet. Now, let's talk about NASA's mission Dawn. Launch date September 27, 2007. Dawn studied the conditions and processes of the solar system's earliest epoch by exploring in detail Ceres and Vesta. In 2011, when Dawn arrived at Vesta, the spacecraft became the first to orbit a body in the region between Mars and Jupiter. And in 2015, when Dawn went into orbit around Ceres, the mission became the first to visit a dwarf planet. Dawn reinforced that dwarf planets, not just icy moons, could have hosted oceans. Dawn revealed that Ceres is geologically active. Dawn orbited Vesta for more than a year from July 2011 to September 2012, and after it escaped from Vesta and its journey onward, Dawn entered orbit around Ceres in March 2015. Dawn's spacecraft achieved many firsts until its mission concluded on October 2018. That's a lot to take in. Thanks for watching and have a great day.